Hello, welcome to my channel. Rise right, so here. Okay, let's practice. I'm using Photoshop. And uh, let's see. I want to start with a uh, really fast sketch. I'm gonna pick up a skin color. Okay, yeah, this color is good. Okay, let's see. First, I'm gonna draw the structure of the face. Something really fast, the nose, the eyes, mouth. Okay, I'm gonna use a different brush to block values. I'm squinting down my eyes and I'm just drawing, you know, painting the values. Just that, that's the face, the eye, the eye. Now a lighter color for the lighter, lighter, lighter colors. Let's see the nose, forehead, a little bit of the hair here. Okay, the chin, the cheek, cheekbone, lower lip. A little bit of light here. I'm gonna need a smaller brush. change. I love the, the texture of this brush. I don't remember the name. What's the name of this brush? Okay, I don't see the name here. Uh, let me see the name. Uh, sorry, I don't know the name. I'm still keeping my eyes squinted you know, to draw. And this way it's easier, you know, to see the whole head. Okay, can you notice something that my my drawing is tilted different? Okay, and the nose is still different, and the nose is smaller. It's not like I want to capture the likeness perfectly, but obviously uh, I'm worrying more about proportions. And obviously if I get close, everything is going to be just in the right position. The eyes, you know, the nose and the mouth, that means the proportions are going to be okay. Light here, more color. Okay, I'm gonna add an extra layer. And let's see, I'm gonna add light up this color. See the reverse window. Yes. 
pretty good. A bit of bluish colors. You know, the, the, there are some areas where the, the, the face, the skin color is warmer. And obviously I'm adding this this uh, bluish color to the areas where the skin color is, is no warm where the skin color could be kind of cool things. I'm looking down this color a little bit. The thing with digital painting is everything is too colorful. You can just go uh, to the layers here, pick up a layer and just knock down the note. The color, I'm gonna copy this layer, uh, duplicate layer, okay. Save that one and I can make a change on this one. Here you see. Okay. And if, uh, like I, I do, I usually work in just a few layers. I can add some gray on top of this color just to knock it down. If I'm gonna get closer to the color of the photograph. I'm adding basically just gray. I have a cool color here, then I can add a warm color. A warm color is gonna just knock it down, this cool color. I like it, but I think, you know, I see that in the photograph, but just, it's too intense here on the, on, on my painting. Okay, I'm gonna try to work on some details.
I have seen so many digital digital painters just working on different layers. It's just for the eyes they create a new layer for the nose, for the background. Uh, I think it's just perfect. Like I said and I always mention it's gonna take me a little a little bit just to get used to that. You know it's like uh, uh what I don't like and I don't know if I uh, someday I would love it, it's just this kind of back and forth uh, with the key keyboard like you know I don't do I usually do, 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 don't do that I paint and I continue painting and if something is wrong I don't press ctrl C to go back but basically I continue retouching on you know on my painting continue retouching and continue retouching uh, one thing that I'm starting to get used to is to don't care about the perfect position of the features of the face. Why? Because it's pretty easy with this uh, uh, this uh, technique just to you know move the the eye, the nose. No. Uh, now, what I do is just I, I copy an area like the eye, let's say, and I move the eye. A little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. I'm gonna be confused with these layers. Okay, that's okay. And now another thing that I'm trying to, to do is uh, just thinking where I'm going to start. I mean, in terms of uh, of making the painting more, let's say, loose, like uh, with loose brush strokes or more detailed. Personally, I love this kind of, you know, loose brush stroke. But anyway, I wanna I wanna try more things. Okay, yes, I, I could even like to try some kind of getting close to some three D. That's what I have seen. You know, it's not like things that I just wanna get what I have seen over there. I hope eventually get. To that point to get really good on this like everything you know it takes practice I love this brush this one I, I showed you so many times look at the texture of this brush yeah I, I mean I didn't buy any set of brushes that it just the same brushes that just came here by default on Photoshop that means that if anyone has Photoshop, Photoshop you're gonna see the same brushes that I have that I'm using right now exactly the same okay, okay I think you know that I'm not so sure okay let's see for the nose, nose, for example, I check out the, this shape. Uh, I just always, every time that I draw something, I, I'm always trying to look for a simple shape. It's much better for me just to copy something simple. First, I simplify, and then I copy. Because if I try to copy something that's pretty com complex. Uh, definitely it's gonna take more time or maybe it's gonna be more just difficult it's better to simplify copy and then add and make it complex you know add details
seen the mouth of a small the hard thing. Look at the nose. Just one second. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna move the mouth a little bit lower or maybe make the upper lip a little bit thicker. Yeah. Or I think both. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna use gray and this knocking down this color a little bit more. The photograph is, is you know it's pretty mute. It's like it doesn't have too much color. I don't wanna get to that you know to that color. I think the beauty about digital paint dig, digital painting is that we can add, add a lot of colors. You know. Okay. One thing about this particular portrait that I would like to do is, uh, let's see, it's possible. Uh, is to make everything darker around okay i think for this it would be a better idea to create a new layer okay yeah everything darker okay i like it now i can see kind of an accent you know on the face Now I can exaggerate, you know, the light here. Yep, a little bit. Okay, now I can pick up this bluish color and do the same here. A little bit of light. A little bit of light here. Okay, now that was one layer for the background. Okay. No, it's good, it's working. Eh, I like it. No, I like it, uh, but uh, I still know that everything is kind of incomplete here. But right now, I want to. I want to be sure, or I want to get, you know, the some kind of color harmony to establish the harmony of the whole, you know, painting between the lights and the shadows. And I 
I'm going to use a gray light here. Use gray. Look at what you see here on my palette. It's not like I want to get rid of this orangey color that's already here. I want this orangey color to stay here, but I don't just, I want to knock it down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna pick up gray again and I'm gonna work a little bit here. No, it's not working. What if I exaggerate something here, some, some contrast, if I make the background, background even darker, it was the background, okay, well, I made a mistake, I sh I, uh, one thing that I want to try to pay attention is layers, okay, because I was, I was uh, working on the background on the layer where, where is the background, I was working some, I mean, some details of the face. That means that if I get rid of the background, I'm gonna get rid of some details on the face. For example, the chin. You see the light on the chin, the light on the neck, and a little bit of the ear. That goes away when I get rid of, you know, of the background. And it shouldn't be like that. Okay, this is gonna be the background, just the background. I think it's a good, good idea to name. The layer, okay, background, yeah. and then I'm gonna create a new layer, or I can go back to work on this layer. Yeah, not a new one, a new one. Let's, let's see. Okay, let's continue working on some. Yeah, I like it. I like when it's, there is a uh, more contrast. Should be working this on the background here. Oh. Anyway, who cares? Okay, what about some some highlights? Okay, I'm using some green highlights. There, there. Those greenish highlights works pretty good on the skin color. Okay, I'm gonna knock down the green for the lights here. More grayish, okay, more grayish lights. 
Uh, I don't want these lights on, on lights and highlights on the on, on the face be the same. Okay. I like it, uh, I don't know what else to do, like uh, if I go with softness or I keep it just like uh, loose with loose brush strokes. What would you recommend? Let me know in the comments, you know, because uh, something that, you know, we gotta just we don't know, I mean, in my case, I, I, to be honest, I don't know, I don't know, I think one way or the other it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay. Personally, like I said, I love this kind of loose brush stroke, but at the same time, I don't want to stay there with the same, you know, kind of stroke for all my paintings, all my digital paintings. That means that I gotta, I, I have to try different. What if I go soft, really soft, smooth out everything here? Or at least if I try, you know. Today I think it's gonna be just a uh, 40 minutes practice. I'm planning to continue all of my my uh, paintings uh, here, but I just wanna do it just like that. For working just 40 minutes or three minutes, and then you know move to a different one, and then go back to to another painting. Okay, what do you think? I like it. What if I add more? contrast on the background. I select the background and I can do this. Look at that. That's, that's the problem, you know that uh, here's a mistake. I sh you shouldn't work okay if you work you create a layer and it's just the background. It's very just to work the background there not anything more on the face. And look at in the same layer that I created for the background I worked a little bit of the, the face, you can see, you know, look at that stroke, white stroke on the eye. We don't see it now, but I'm going to make this darker. Well, okay, I like it. Okay, I like it a lot. <laughs> It's pretty expressive. Yeah? Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I can just add an accent to the background. Now I gotta be careful. Here's the layer background, and I wanna work just here in this layer. Okay. Okay, I like the bluish color. 
on the beard. Okay, let's work a little bit on the ear. Okay. I'm gonna use a round brush, soft, soft round brush. Okay, here's the background. Uh, again, I was about to make a mistake. I'm gonna move to this layer, layer two. Okay, I say that that's not my goal to get the likeness, but all the time, you know, I'm copying an image and, and trying to get closer. I'm copying the values, but it's not it's not my goal, okay, to get the likeness. My goal is, is color, because I think that's the best thing that we can get from digital art. The possibility of art, a lot of colors and, you know, everywhere. Okay, I'm going to use a round brush. With a round brush, is I go over this, it kind of, uh, it's kind of like blending. There is a brush for blending, special brush for blending. Okay, it just I, uh, I prefer to. Just one second, I prefer to. I'm going to use a round brush and kind of paint over and soften. Okay, for example, here, uh, this is the round brush. Okay, I go like that and see some, you know, adding more paint. And since the brush it doesn't have any texture, I'm making everything a little bit softer. For example, here, look at that, it's going to be softer. Okay. Now, uh, I, I love, you know, when I see paintings that are pretty, pretty smooth. For me, I kind of, uh, I like everything that I see about digital art. But, anyway, I think, I think I'm just going to stay just trying, you know, getting maybe smoother, smooth out the painting or sometimes go more with more of a painterly approach I don't even know I just want to continue just painting
Okay, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Uh, let's do something here, in this area here. I think. I'm going to smooth out that with some gray. Is it 37 minutes? Yeah, I think it's okay if I maybe think uh, five more minutes. Yeah, yeah, it would be pretty good if I put five more minutes. Okay, oh, uh, what is what I said, for example, is gonna create a new layer. What I wanted, keep light here. light here and make everything darker throw some reddish color here okay I, I like it yeah. okay. I'm just trying okay trying to find some harmony here but definitely I like this brushes Looks like this brush is blending everything. Yeah, look at that. Oh wow. Very nice. Okay, let's go back to paint. Stop playing with brushes. sharper
caps on green for the highlight sharper oh this too sharper okay that's better yeah obviously my intention is to make the nose pop forward a little bit more and that's why I'm making that area a little bit sharper Yeah, I think that's it, you know. For color study, that's good. Oh, hello Jeremy! How are you doing? Thank you! It's been 45 minutes. I think that's pretty good for practice. Let me reverse it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. What about the background? The background is something that I have a lot of doubt over the background here. 
이 누구나 렉기 될 수가 있죠. 음. The mistake, you know, I made it was working on the background a little bit, some portion of, on the, of, of the face on the background. And now every time that I get, I block the background, you know, I can see it, some changes on the face. Okay, I was a mess, but anyway. Then I think that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it for today. I'm gonna save this. Oh, is there the other direction? Okay. Okay. I saved it. And that's it for today. Okay. See you next time. See you tomorrow. You no, know, I usually uh, plan to practice as much as possible, like just a few times an hour a day, maybe a little bit more. You know, well, I will experiment with more color. Yeah. The good thing about this, I'm gonna get rid of this layer. Is uh, I'm gonna merge all the layers, and now I can just you know play with contrast of the whole image look at that I can just add more saturation to the whole painting look at that I can knock it down now that I knock down the color completely I can tell that I need more light and highlight Lighter, darker. I change the hue. Ooh, this is pretty nice to do. Okay, then I'm gonna add a little bit more color, I think. A little bit more saturation, just, just there. Yeah, you know, I like it with more saturation. Okay. See you next time. Bye.